Preston and Steve. On 93.3 WMMR. We got a packed studio in here. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking is kind of with a night for getting ready for the badge launch. We are going to go to it in just a couple of moments. We did this earlier this morning, but I need to run it again because it's important that we remember the roots of the badge project. And uh, this is how it all started. Uh, yep, so listen absolutely. up. Here we go. Coronet Films, in association with the National Aeronautics and Gynecological Administration, presents Vag One, the story of the early days of the Vag program. 1963, President John Kennedy delivers to the country a call to arms. As a nation, we cannot allow the Soviet Union to put a blow-up sex doll into space before we do. Ick benign sex doll guy. Ah, but the race is to the swift, and Russian engineers are hard at work on their own orbital sex doll called Vajnik. Comrades, pleased to observe that Vajnik is prime example of Soviet superiority. Not only that, there is opening in backside for to have bot sex. But thanks to a last-minute defection from Vajnik mastermind Dr. I. Kachikakov, the United States is first to the launch pad with Vaj-1. Five, four, Lubrication three, sequence two, started. One, lift off. We have a liftoff. God speed to you, badge one. This is one small badge for man, but one giant badge for mankind. And so, a new age in blow-up sex doll technology had been born. The end. All right, it is a momentous occasion, and why don't we get this thing underway? Uh, I think the first person we need to check in with, we're going to do the full round, and everybody is standing by and set to go. Pierre Robert, can you hear me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I stand ready to launch. Yeah! We, uh, <laughs> we're looking out on uh, the back of um, uh, William Penn's ass from here on top of City Hall. Oh, it must uh, be spectacular. It is spectacular. Well put. <laughs> And uh, we stand ready uh, to launch here uh, from Launchpad 1. Oh, and I can see the chopper up there. Oh, Excellent. really? All right, well, here's what we're going to do, Pierre. We're going to go around the board, and we're going to check in with everybody. And uh, speaking of the chopper, uh, why don't we do that first? We have uh, not yet spoken, and this is the first time we've ever had coverage from the air. <laughs> but I think we need to go to our yeah. pilot, Elliot. Elliot, are you there? Hey, good morning. How are you? Doing great. So uh, what is your location right about now? Presently, we're just a little south of uh, Billy Penn. All right, let's go to uh, Chase One. That is Nick, because Nick is going to be mobile on the street. Chase One reporting. All right, Nick, and what is your location? I'm uh, right now at the base of the building. I'm at uh, 15th and Chestnut, and uh, we're just looking up. All right, you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. We get the official countdown from Pierre? Yes, we do. Pierre, yeah. when you're ready. Let's bring her to the far corner. All right. I now hold the ribbon in my left hand, the microphone in my right Release it, uh, dear citizens. We've got Steve, and we've got Sha Oh, my God. All right, now I'm holding Virginia in my hands. Uh, well, not in my hands, but the ribbon in my hands as we look out over the... Oh, my God, she's wildly flying as I hold her. Are we ready, lads? Yes. yes. Give us a countdown uh, and go. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Godspeed, Virginia. Yeah. Oh, my God, she's up. The Ritz Carlton is right across the street. She's doing somersaults as if she was Nadia Comaneci. And uh, she's going high. She's not going down. She's going straight up. Yeah! yeah. She's yeah. yeah. She's giant. Helium balloons attached to her. She's up, up and away. Now she's not going left or right. I swear to God, she's going straight up. She's Bye-bye. She's at the top of the new Ritz Carlton luxury condominium tower where blue-haired rich ladies are coming out going, I don't know what that is, and I don't think I quite approve. She's now atop uh, the, the, this brand new tower that the Ritz Carlton has built on the back of the uh, Ritz Carlton Hotel. Bye. Now she has just <laughs> left yeah. my sight, and I think the helicopter. Oh, she's on the other side of the tower. She is heading south. All Virginia right. is heading south. 
She's got to be a mile up in the sky. At okay, this point. head it south, Pierre. Hang on. Let me go to uh, Nick, who is chasing. Let me go to Chase One. Nick, are you there? We're on 15th. The helicopter just went over 15th and is heading um, down towards the river in that direction. Nick, could you take a guess at the altitude of the badge at this point? How high is the helicopter? I don't About know. 900 feet. feet. I'd say 850. 850. All right. All right. Well, we're getting legs on this one. All right. That's good. He's heading towards Jersey. Do you want to go to Elliot in the helicopter? Let's check there? Elliot. All right. I, let's Elliot's see in we... hot pursuit. We know that. <laughs> let's see if we can get him on. Uh, Elliot, can you hear us? I got you. All right. Elliot, what, uh, do you still have a visual on the badge? Uh, we have lost the visual on the uh, on the bomb. Oh. You're on your way to Atlantic City at... Uh, uh, I have altitude, and we're allowed to go. She, she's at an altitude. You're not allowed to go. And what would you what would you imagine or guess her airspeed to be? I would think her airspeed probably somewhere in the 95 mile an hour range. She's probably at about 3,000 feet right about now. 3,000 feet <laughs> and 95 miles an hour. So it's like got, what you're saying is it's going to be hard to touch that. Moving right along. <laughs> oh my so god! So potentially a plane could see her. She's heading towards Atlantic City. Yeah, John, but, uh, oh let me boy. let me ask you though, with uh, with the way it's as windy as it as it's been, because it, could his estimation be correct that it's yeah. at that height going yeah, ninety five yeah. miles an hour? Oh, that she's probably already there. <laughs> really? Probably well, already so, in Atlantic City. Well, it could disintegrate. Well, yeah, John, that's what I was going to ask you. What with the temperature and the helium and all of that, what, what's going to happen? What would happen to her? Well, the vat keeps going up. Badge is not coming down. <laughs> Every year we don't, we can't quite seem to get it right. Either we, no. either we don't put enough helium in uh, Virginia's little tanks, or we put too much helium in, and she either goes way low, or the first year was perfect. She she went over and she landed in the tree and run yep. eight. Yeah. The second year she didn't go too far. She only went a few blocks, and the elevator guys got her on the construction site. Yeah. Last year she went straight down. Right. And this year she went straight up. Yep. So so it, next year is going to be perfect. We've gone through six. 68 callers, let's get our 69th. To the phones we go. Ted, are you there? Yes, I am, Steve. Ted? <laughs> Ted? Yes, I'm here. You're the 69th caller. <laughs> yeah. Ted, congratulations, my friend. Uh, thank you so much. This is great. Did you hear everything that you've won? I heard it all. I've been listening all morning and uh, rode through town just before the badge took off, but didn't get to see her. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, that's all right. Uh, nobody saw her land, so that yeah. means uh, you uh, you didn't go to too much trouble, and you got this great prize. This is going to be awesome. Awesome, buddy. All right, congratulations, Ted. <laughs> Steve. On 93.3 WMMR.